Today in this video, we're going to go over what a termite inspection is and different signs that you can look for to spot termites. A termite inspection is when an inspector walks the interior of the house and the exterior of the house and they're looking for all signs of termites. Now, before we talk about the different sizes of your home to spot termites, we have to talk about the different types of termites in a colony. Now, there are different types of termite species, and there's too many species to cover all in this video. So we're going to talk about the five different types of termites within a colony. Now, your first one up are your workers. These are going to be the type of termites that you see most often. They're going to be bringing food from the outside to the colony with underground. Now, your soldiers are going to be the type of termites that protect the colony. You're not going to see these as much. They're going to be in the colony, in the ground, or near it to protect the queens. Your wing reproductives, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. These are going to be the termites that have wings. They're going to fly out the colony into different areas to form new colonies. Your queens are going to be in the colony so you're not going to see those as much as well. And they're going to be responsible for reproducing. And the kings as well are also responsible for reproducing. But they're also responsible for releasing chemicals within the colony that help control it. There are many signs that can indicate that you might have termites. Such as mud tubes, which in themselves have a bunch of categories as well. Those different categories include different types of tubes that have different purposes. So for example, working tubes receive the most use for termite colonies. They transport hundreds to thousands of termites from nests to food sources daily. Another common type of tubes are drop tubes, which are easy to identify because they often look like they're falling from the ceiling or they could even be look like they're falling from the attic. The last type of tubes on the list is exploration tubes, which are tubes used as highways for termites to construct them to move between their nests and a food source. So termites are not going to be living or present in these types of tubes for long. They're going to use these as a way of transport. Another thing that you could look for to spot termites are exit holes, which are small markings in the wood, drywall, or even other building materials that are created by certain types of termites just before mating season. Now these exit holes are about one eighth or an inch or smaller. So just to keep that on a heads up. Now the termite tubes are not the only way that you can identify where the termites are at the property. You could also look for termite droppings, which look like small and they're also shades of black and brown, over shaped, or even hexagonal shaped. Now, there are other signs like decayed wood, soft wood, and even damaged wood that can also indicate that there's termites. It could also just mean that it's wood rot, but it is something to look for. What are the last signs that you can look for to spot termites are signs of swimmers. These are winged reproductive adults. They fly away to mate and form other colonies, their own colonies. And this is usually an indication that you have termites nearby. So now that you've gotten the signs to look for to spot termites, what exactly does your inspector do during a termite inspection? Well, your inspector is going to use two tools, mainly a long screwdriver. This is going to be used to poke at the foundation, near the foundation, and also poke things that may be out of his reach that might look like mud tubes that could be used as well the back end of the screwdriver to pat against the wood to see if there's soft wood and hollow wood and also a flashlight and this is going to be used in the tight crevices inside like in the closets like in the attic and even maybe under the bathroom sink as well now, with these two tours, there's pretty much not much to it. It's a visual examination of the entire property. You kind of just have to be trained to know what you're looking for. But there are no tours, no magic tours, really, that are going to find termites. You just kind of have to give a thorough search of the entire property. So, the inspector will look everywhere in the exterior, 
and even everything in the interior. And this could even include going inside the attic. Now, even though he is going to check all places, he will put his emphasis on the wood structures because termites, their diet consists of cellulose. And cellulose can be obtained from a lot of different natural materials like wood, grass, leaves, hummus, manure, and even vegetarian materials like paper, cardboard, or even cotton. Those are going to be the materials most susceptible to termites because that is what termites are going to feed on. So if you're buying a home that might have termites or own a home that has termites, we recommend that you get a termite inspection because termites, even though they grow at different rates in less than a year, can grow to as much as over 100,000 in size. They can destroy a home in as little as a year to two years. As a matter of fact, according to multiple sources, termites each year cause more damage than storms, floods, and fires 